and I am in my kitchen today and I wore my meme sweater for you because it's cold and it's fall. But I'm in my kitchen because I wanted to talk to you today about the three C's of environmental control. Now environmental control is kind of a technical term, but basically what it means is are the elements in your environment, your home environment, your work environment, working for your goals or are they constantly challenging it? So let's take a look at your kitchen environment and the first C, which is your countertop. Do you have any tempting foods, snack foods, pastry, donuts, chips, brownies, desserts out on your countertop right now? If so, please move them into the cabinet. Get them out of line of vision because we know that subliminally that constantly works on your temptation and gets that storm going of should I or shouldn't I. Which brings us to the next C, which is your cabinet. Right now, if we took a peek in your cabinets, would we find any Cheez-Its or Oreos or tempting snack foods that perhaps you would say um, is for your spouse or your children or your grandchildren or in some cases even your pets. But in reality, if we got rid of those foods, how long would it take for those people to notice that they were gone? And would they really be upset? Often when I ask clients this, they'll say, you know, they probably wouldn't notice or it would take a while. And so it's kind of like a ruse that you tell yourself to always have those foods around and you, you don't need that temptation. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm against Oreos or Cheez-Its or any of that stuff, but if you really have a craving for it, go to the convenience store and get a single serve pack. That'll serve you much better in the end. The third C is the couch. At the end of the day, most of us like to crash on the couch and watch something on television or a movie. Well, between the hours of 7 and 11 p.m., the amount of succulent, indulgent food commercials is astronomical. And so mm, try Netflix, that's what I do, so that I can bypass all of those food commercials. Second, if you find that you really do not want to give up your snack while you're watching television, then pre-plate or pre-portion the snack that you're going to have in the kitchen first. Then bring it in with you to the couch and you know that when the snack is done, the snack is done and that's the end of it. If you still find that you're thinking about food, you do a quick check and see did you have enough protein today. Also check and see if maybe whatever's on TV is boring kind of and so you're looking to food to make things a little bit more interesting. I have a new free quiz on crackerjacknutrition.com. It's a great way to check and see if your weight loss surgery knowledge about nutrition is fresh and current. So please log on to Cracker Jack Nutrition and check that out. I would love that so much. Until next time, be good.